Chair squeaks a lot, man. Gotta fix that. Hey guys, Harsh here and welcome back to Technolobe. Today, we are gonna have a look at the Microsoft in Note 1. Now, it is in this Flipkart package. I have not opened the package as of yet because I wanted to capture this process on camera. There have been a lot of issues with quality control. I've seen people facing issues where the back panel just comes off or there are scratches here and there. And that's why I wanted to document this process on camera and hence this setup. So let's quickly go ahead and unbox this phone and let's hope that there is nothing wrong with my unit. So fingers crossed. First up, I have some coupon for Mintra.com. That's weird. Let's just keep that aside for a moment. And next up inside the box is the box of the phone. So the box seem all right. The seal is not broken. And yeah, that is a good thing. up the seal so let's go ahead and open up the seal so far so good okay so as you can see the phone is kept right over here and i have ordered it in this white color which according to me is very classy and looks good as well now I'm going to keep the phone aside for a moment and let's see what all do we get inside the box. So the phone I'm going to keep it aside for a moment. And next up is a sleeve which does not include a case weirdly. They should have included a case because the sleeve is meant for a case but there is no case. There is some paperwork which is the user guide and we're just going to keep it back. And it also comes with a sim card ejector tool. Now, apart from this sleeve, there is the 18 watt fast charger inside this box and this charger says made in India. So some units have the charger which is made in China, but yeah, this one is made in India and that is a good thing. So 18 watt fast charger and then a USB type C cable. So those were the accessories that you get inside. Now I'm just quickly going to, you know, get back to the phone because that is the main thing after all. So the box is going to come aside. I'm going to, you know, close the blade because I don't want to hurt myself and here we go time to peel off the plastic all right there's some more plastic to it and now this is the IMEI sticker I'm not going to throw this away I'm going to put it back on the box let's just do that first Okay, so the first impression of the phone are that it feels really different and solid. Does not feel cheap at all and it does not feel like a 11,000 rupee phone. This white color is really good and I did not expect that. So yeah, I'm really liking this color. Now let's remove the protective film on the front side of the display. So this is a protective film. So this is off. Now underneath this film there is a screen protector installed, but that is a good thing but my screen protector also has bubbles on the top and a little one over here. So yeah, this issue is common with almost everyone out there. There are bubbles on the screen protector. That's because maybe Micromax is in a hurry because of the high demand and that's why this issue. Now let me go ahead and quickly set up this device. Okay, time to set up the fingerprint sensor. Let's see how the fingerprint sensor performs. Now, while I'm setting the fingerprint sensor, I realized that the vibration motor is straight up bad. Like it's literally one of the worst that I've seen on a smartphone. Like it's, it's very bad. The vibrations feel very unnatural. Mm, that is an issue. <laughs> okay, the fingerprint is set up. And next up, device activation. Oh, here we go. There's no more setup. It's literally, that's it. Like I did not even sign into my Google account. Everything was done offline without even signing into a Wi-Fi network. That is excellent, man. 
Now, one awesome thing about this phone is that it comes with stock Android out of the box and there's literally no bloatware. That is the best thing with this device. No bloatware whatsoever. Now, I'm going to go ahead and check the Android version because I'm pretty sure that it's going to be Android 10 and not Android 11 because, yeah, companies are very sketchy about the software updates. Yeah, I was right. It's Android 10 and Android 11 should have been there with this device because Android 11 has been out there for quite some time and this device is based on AOSP. So they should have given Android 11. I think that they will give Android 11 and call it a major software update. So yeah, that's kind of going to be a marketing technique. Now it's time to quickly test the camera. So I'm going to quickly shoot some photos here and let's see how does it perform. Okay, initial impressions are that the camera is very soft and the dynamic range is all over the place. Let's just click one photo over here. Let's just try the ultra wide angle camera as well because that's just 5 megapixel and I'm not going to expect anything from the ultra wide angle camera. Yeah, it's straight up bad. I'm going to also try the selfie camera because yeah, that is important. Let's take one more. I'm going to be showing the camera samples on screen now. You guys let me know about the camera quality. Obviously, I will be testing it in detail in the future. So stay tuned for that. Now, this variant right over here is the one with 4 GB of RAM and 64 GB of internal storage and is priced at 11,000 rupees. For this price point, I think this phone is a very good option out there. But I will have to test out the camera, the software and all the things in this phone. So I'm going to be doing that in the next week or so. I'm going to be using it as my daily driver. So the Pixel 4a is going to go back in the box and I'm going to use this phone for at least one week. And let's see if I can survive with this phone. Now I will be sharing a lot more videos about this phone, which includes the camera review, maybe a Google camera video, if I can find a port, a full review, a comparison with other phones and all those things. If you want any specific video of the Micromax in Note N1, then please let me know about that in the comment section down below. Now I'm going to go ahead and play around with this device so that I can make my next video for you guys. Anyway, that's been it. Thank you so much for tuning in to this unboxing of the Micromax in Note 1. I know that this was a different video. I tried a different format. And if you like this format, then please let me know about that in the comment section down below. If you like this content, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me. My name is Harsh Punjabi and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.